Okay, I think this is one of the hot question for differentiation and integration. And yeah, I got this question from one of my students in my Facebook page. I mean, yeah, okay. Yes, so for this question, you have some information over here. A curve has a gradient function of uh, ax plus b, and a and b are constant, uh, are constant, mean a and b are just a number, they are not variable and the number won't change for a and b. Okay, given that the curve have the minimum values of y of 1 when x equals to 1 over 3. So over here, yeah, when you see minimum value, of course the first thing come into your mind is something you must relate. This one is something to do with dy dx. Okay, because we know minimum value or maximum value dy dx will equal to 0 when x is when x will equal to 1 over 3. Alright, so you, you must get the idea for this one. Of course, at the same time, when you tell me y equals to 1 and x equals to 1 over 3, we know this is one of the equation, uh, one of the coordinates, one of the coordinate on the curve. Alright, means if this is a curve, we have a coordinate which is minimum, and this one is 1, uh, I mean, is this coordinate will be 1 over 3 and 1. So this one is also the coordinate because yeah, later we're going to use this coordinate to actually find the equation of the curve. Alright, we want to find the equation of the curve y. Yeah, we do not know why it's the equation. So yeah, so at least you must understand yeah, th this coordinate is on the curve. Then, you, then only you can use this coordinate to find the equation of the curve. All right, it's so important about this idea. All right, let me continue. And the gradient of 4 when x equals to 1. So another information I have over here is gradient. I know dy dx is a gradient, isn't it? dy dx will equals to 4 when x will equals to 1. Okay, this is all the information given from the whole question. And it asks you to find the equation of the curve. Alright, normally find the equation of the curve, we know the only way we can find the equation of the curve is like we integrate uh, the gradient function. So you just remember, whenever they ask you to like find the equation of the curve, first thing come into your mind is y need to be integrate dy dx. Alright, this is how we find the equation of the curve. I think so far in SBN MF, or IGCSC additional math, you only have this method to find the equation of the curve. Alright, okay, let me just continue. Okay, so, but the problem is, my gradient function have two unknown over here, ax plus b. So therefore, in order to find a and b, which is two unknown, I will need two information to form two equations. So this is the reason why I have my first information and second information. Oh no, I'm not going to call this one second. I'm going to call this one second information. This one is the third one. I think this information is for you to like actually find the equation of the curve. Alright, so I'm going to use first information and second information to form two equations to find out a and b first. Alright, I know ax plus b is a gradient function, right? So I'm going to do something like this. dy dx will equal to ax plus b because the question tell me this is great gradient function so when dy dx equals to 0 my x will equal to 1 over 3 substitute in 0 my x is 1 over 3 plus b so basically i know my b equals to negative 1 over 3a okay i call, call this one first equation okay then I, let me continue so my dy dx will equal to 4 when x equals to 1 Okay, I know dy dx is equals to ax plus b. When dy dx equals to 4, I substitute 4 here. x equals to 1, I substitute 1 here, plus b. This is my second equation. Then I'm going to substitute my first equation into my second equation, just like we, we do the simultaneous. So 4 equals to a plus b is negative 1 over 3a. Alright, so I think I just need to solve this one. So yeah, this one 4 will equal to this 1a minus 1, uh, 1 over 3a is 2 over 3a. 2 over 3a. Okay, so I know a will equal to divide 2 multiple 3, which is 6. Alright. Okay, then of course, 
I substitute a equals to 6 into the first equation, which is this one, b equals to negative 1 over 3a. So b will equals to negative 1 over 3a. My a is 6. So b will equals to negative 2. All right. So far, should, should be okay, right? Just simplify this one. You get negative 2. So after you get your a and b, of course, the first thing coming into your mind is, yeah, you, you better substitute it back. Okay? So, okay, until here, maybe I change another color. So I know my dy. Oops, what happened to my pen? I know my dy, dx, will equal to ax plus b. So therefore, my dy dx will equal to a6, 6x minus 2. This is dy dx. Just now, I say the only way to find the equation of the curve is to integrate your dy dx. So I'm going to write y equal, uh, equals to integrate dy dx. Then will equals to integrate 6x minus 2. So you integrate 6x minus 2, it will be very easy if you understand about integration law. So with power plus 1, which is 1 plus 1 is 2, divide by total power. This one, 2, just plus x for it, and you go to plus c. Alright, this is y, so I just, this one will be y equals to simplify 3. 3x three squared minus 2x plus c. That's why just now, I say the coordinate is very important, because you're going to substitute this coordinate to find c. Remember, we always need one coordinate to find the value of c. Okay? So, yeah, we have uh, 1 over 3 and 1. I hope I didn't copy it wrongly. Yeah, should be correct. 1 over 3 and 1. So, I'm going to substitute into here, maybe. So, when, yeah, I have the coordinate 1 over 3 and 1, isn't it? So, that's mean when my y is 1, my x is 1 over 3. So, 1 over 3 square minus 2, 1 over 3 plus c. Alright, so, I just solve this one. 1, this is 1 over 9, multiple 3 is 1 over 3, minus 2 over 3, plus c. So this one is negative 1 over 3, move to the other side, is plus 1 over 3, so with 4 over 3, I mean 4 over 3 equals to c. Yeah, c equals to 4 over 3. Then you just substitute your c back into your equation, here. Okay, so therefore, I should get the equation is y equals to 3x squared minus 2x, plus 4 over 3. Therefore, my equation should be y equals to 3x squared minus 2x plus 4 over 3. Yeah, I think this one should be the I think this one should be the answer. y equals 3x squared minus 2x plus 4 over 3. I think the student provide me the answer also. Yeah, y equals 3x squared minus 2x plus 4 over 3. Yes, this is how we find the equation of the curve. I hope this video to give you some guide on how to find the equation of curve and how to solve the unknown and what's the meaning for gradient function and what's the meaning for minimum value. Yes, I hope this video do help you. Thanks for watching.